All right, lads. BSBI, yeah? Big sip beer review. So, um, just going to chuck a quick review in now before the um, the football second leg of the um, playoff semi final. Currently 2 0 down to Fulham. Need a big ask tonight. Come on, the mighty Bluebirds. And we're going to review the Korev Cornish Lager. I recently done the Cornish Cider, the Ratner. Um, so now we're hitting Cornwall again and we're going to the Cornish Lager, the Korev. Um, yeah, just jump straight into it. There's no messing about. Um, the bottle cap is, I'll show him there now. It's just a blue one with a, the company's symbol on it saying established in 1851. Uh, what to say? Core Rev, Core F in brackets, is a traditional Cornish word meaning beer. I, so I must have their own sort of um, the language way or something down our end. I am been here since I've been a kid. <laughs> anyway, let's get diving. Right. Let's pour it. Oh, wow. Oh, a nice glug on him. I like the glug when I pour. He's a lively one. God, alive. I think I've had a taste before the aroma. God alive, he's definitely lively. So we've got the Korev Cornish Lager. We're coming in at 4.8% in a nice brown bottle. I poured him, he went. <laughs> and I forgot to say at the start of the video, this was a gift I've had probably touching 10 days now off my neighbours again. I mentioned them a few times in my videos. They just love them, so they keep supplying me with beer. Uh, Ruth and Matt set them the Korev Cornish Lager. They popped up. Thank you very much, and I'm going to review it. <laughs> so try and get them all in, because I probably will get them all in, because we've got a 500ml bottle. Just add a a poor pour. A poor pour. <laughs> <coughs> God alive, if that was the sip I just had and made that carbonation, God alive. Anyway, let's have a little look. The beer is in the glass. Right. We've got a straw colour with medium carbonations slowly or a medium pace rising up the glass forming a two finger foamy head let's have a look at the aroma can't get a lot of it to be honest with you there's no skunkiness on it which i've, I've mentioned in previous videos you do get with the green bottles but this is a brown bottle and it's all in its own. It's not giving any rubbishy smells off. Um, if I could, after, well, if I have to say a certain, what it? Slight, slight, slight scent of honey coming through it. Nothing else, otherwise just uh, it's a lager smell with just a slight scent of honey. So, and the head is now disappeared to the one finger, so it could be down to the poor paw. <laughs> the poor paw. I like that one. I think I'm going to use that one a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, that's anyway. So, chin chin or buddy, let's have a go. Gotta dive in again because my brain is telling me I'm drinking something else that I am drinking or supposed to be drinking. So, so I've gotta go in. Sorry, sorry. Wow. 
What a strange, strange drink. So you've got a Cornish lager, but you're drinking it, and you're thinking that you're drinking a cider. Why? Strange, man. I, I don't dislike that factor. Anyway, I'll tell you about wine tasting or whatever. But definitely, it's, it's a weird one. So, the Cornish lager in a glass, lager in a glass, um, lager in the mouth, instantly feels like cider. Absolutely weird, that one is. Um, it's a citrusy, citrusy um, taste on it. That's the only thing given away, other than like the cidery feel with the, with the apples and... Um, the side, just the general basic cider that you you can well I am tasting. I don't know if it's only me that ever have ever said that uh, from drinking this drink. Uh, have one more sip before I, uh, I do my usual. Oh. That's ultra strange. It's it got <coughs> wow. Sorry. Yeah, so you've got a lager in a glass, and you drink it, and your body, or your mind, or your brain, whatever, your taste buds, whatever you want to put your name, or whatever you want to say, is telling you that you're drinking cider. What a weird drink. <laughs> uh, like I said, I don't dislike it, because I, I do drink cider, I do drink the odd cider, and I am um, a lager lout, as I have previous said in um, my other videos. So yeah, but that's all I can say. A lager that tastes like you're drinking cider. Weird one, tell me, absolutely weird one. Um, let's have a look at the big sip Bolton ability. <sighs> yeah, definitely easy to bolt. Your mouth feel feels like so thin, it's like you're drinking a cider. Uh, uh, is left an absolutely gorgeous lacing around the glass. If you can see that, well, you can see that absolutely clear as day. The lacing that is left on the glass, which I'm a big fan of. Yeah, so um, all I can say is the Korev or the Korev in Cornish terms. Um, in my opinion, my personal opinion, shoot me down if you think I'm wrong or, yeah, leave the comments <laughs> if you think I am talking utter garbage. But I honestly think the lager tastes like a cider. Anyway, the, um, I'm rating this because I am a cider man. Well, I do like a cider man, so I, I class myself as a cider guy. And I do like a lager. As I said, I'm a lager lout. I'm going to rate it a 5 out of 10 because I don't know where this drink wants to be. Does it want to be a lager? Does it want to be a cider? I don't know where it's going to be. So if they don't know where it's going to be, I don't know really how to rate it. So it's a midway to me. Half a lager, half a cider. Out of 10, check in 5. Yeah, I would by the hand again because it's unique. Very, very unique. The Korev Lager... Or the Conniff Cider, in my opinion. Looks like a lager, tastes like a cider. If that's what they're trying to get, you've absolutely nailed that. Yeah, so I, I would buy that again. And uh, it's down the middle, straight down the middle. 5 out of 10 for me. And more reviews to come on a future date. Big sip.